Oh, hi. It's autumn in Australia, so when the days are sunny, my work from home place is my front veranda, where I sit in the sun with my Cooper hat on and I work for as long as the sun's warming my back. In my part of Sydney, there's been 10 cases overall, eight have recovered and two are still active. In my state of New South Wales, there's been 390,000 tests. About 3,000 people have the virus, but 2,648 have recovered. There's 385 active cases, and sadly, 49 people have lost their lives. So what podcasts am I listening to? Of course I'm listening to the Radio Info Flash Briefing, a daily update of what's happening in news of the radio industry in Australia and throughout Asia Pacific. I'm also listening to a brand new marketing podcast called Brand New World, hosted by Russell Howcroft on the Podcast One platform. And if you're thinking of the brand new world of work, the new normal after the pandemic, try ABC Australia's podcast called This Working Life with Lisa Leong. She talks to experts about all sorts of things like working from home, new office layouts and the new normal in the world of work. And of course, sometimes video conferences have to be taken very seriously. Hey, what's wrong with that? Some of the interesting things my dog Barchi's been reading about while she's been working from home include an article on Radio Info about how listening habits are changing. The peaks of breakfast and drive have dropped a little, but daytime listening is well up and the curve's been flattened. Another interesting article is some research from Nova in Australia that shows four stages of people coping with the pandemic. Stage one, this is fine, we can cope. Stage two, when you've been shut in for a while, this is effed. Stage three, this is fun. And stage four, this is forever. You might also be interested in some other Radio Info articles, how companies are dealing with the pandemic, how media consumption is rising, and what sort of things people are looking and listening for. For instance, information on tutoring, programs on politics, um, gardening, children's education, and religion. And there's some excellent research from the Australian Radio Network about how podcast listening is increasing and looking at what times of the day and evening podcasts are mostly consumed. And that's my little snapshot of what I'm doing as I'm working from home. Thanks for listening.